Welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you, or one of many ways to set up Blogofile, which is a different blogging engine than what you would see in WordPress. It doesn't require a database, and it, when you build it, it produces static HTML files, which is very nice. Uh, you might see Python here. Do not get too concerned. The amount of Python you need to know is very minimum. Uh, thanks to these, this community of Blogofile, because with the initial creation of it, it does a lot of the Python you need to get a starting blog to go. So, don't get too concerned as of yet. Uh, you know, move along. Look at future tutorials. I, I might, ha I'll probably have on Blogofile, but. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have a virtual machine here that I created a blog file git repository. Now, the reason why I did this was because uh, I'm using git to I'm integrating blog file with git, which if you read their website, which I recommend you read of blogofile.com, you can see how you can integrate version control with this system a lot better um, or possibly as efficient as you would do with other blogging platforms. So there's two ways to install Blogofile. The first is to do a sudo apt-get install Python setup tools. Just hit enter and go through that. Then you just need to easy install blog o file. Hit enter. Uh, there's no prompts or questions, so just go ahead and go through that. Uh, once it's finished, uh, before we move on, we want to uh, in a any editor that you use here in Linux, uh, you want to go into the hooks directory and create a post receive file. Basically, what this file is, is whenever someone pushes to the master repository, which is this, it will run or do uh, execute this file here. Um, so we want... First thing you want to do is unset the git directory. Now, what will happen is we're going to have a directory created that uh, is going to store the most current code and build the code to generate the static HTML. So in my home directory, because with uh, git, I use it via uh, SSH. So I know I have ac I'll have access to this directory, which is very important, because if you don't have access, it will not work. So in there, we're going to do a git pull, and then we will do a blogo file build. Now, as far as the web server goes that's running on this box, you can do one of two things. One, inside of this blogo file directory, once you build, there will be an underscore site directory which holds that static HTML files. You could point your web server to point there if you were making Blogofile your streamline uh, code or framework. If, for example, you don't want to do that and in, you want to leave, you know, with the typical setup var w, uh, www as your as your root folder and you wanted to create a folder called blogo file what you can do is add this line here which I did for my testing basically inside that site folder grab all the contents and directories that's what that dash a make sure it does and I just have it send it to the var www folder Let's go ahead and write that out. Now, the next thing we need to do is make that file inside of the hooks directory uh, executable. If it is not executable, 
it will not work. So, the next step here is we want to go into my home directory here and we want to do a git clone it's going to say it's an empty repository because there's nothing in it now the one thing you do not want to do which you might be tempted to do is now to go into this directory and continue on with the setup of bloggle file I would not do that because when you push it it's going to cause some issues so you can do one of two things one we could um, create another directory that on this file that will set it up and push it over or I like to just go uh, in my case I would go to my local machine and set this up because you probably want to set this up on your local anyways so what we want to do is you want to come on here I'll go to my Mac here and on a Mac easy install is uh, done right out of the box so um, well, I'll go file so what we want to do is we want to make a directory and we'll call this blog file and of course you can name these directories whatever you like let's go into that directory and don't initiate the, the, the repository yet or you, or you would maybe even think well why didn't I just clone right away the problem with blog file is you have the directory has to be empty for the blog file to initialize so we'll do blog file init simple blog. Do a list here. So now what we're going to want to do, because we have that in there, is we want to do a git init. So we want to initialize this directory. We're going to do a git add all git commit m adding base code blog file whatever you want to do and then we'll do a git remote add origin re at Um, still new to get totally unsure there why I have to, um, I've noticed on some of my server or some of my builds uh, I have to specify the absolute URL uh, to that I'm assuming uh, because when you SSH in uh, it's probably looking in that same directory for the repo so um, you can do after the colon there you can do the absolute URL to the repository okay that's just setting up in your git config to where to go when you do git push origin master it's going to ask me for my password and boom so now if I come back here and I go into my blog file directory here's the stuff now you're going to notice that underscore site directory that is what holds the static HTML content this holds your posts so I'm not going to get in too much detail there uh, that's for a different tutorial so let me go back here because again if I look there is no underscore site here so you want to be careful because when you actually well let me show you uh, let me show you how to run the server now I could do this on my Mac side but I'm going to do it here um, so you would do blog o file serve 8080 now I don't have Apache installed I don't have any web servers set up here so now what 
uh, as you can see, it just starts at the server at that localhost 8080. So if I come in here and there you go, and there is the sample, the sample site. So we'll just control C that. And of course, let me do a list on var www. See, static content. There's CSS, there's blog. Um, the blog folder just holds where it'll show you the full contents of the blog. But So let's go back here. Now, one of the things um, that I did is you might want to set up an exclude in wherever you're going to be doing your programming and you're going to be pushing up to the master repo. So if you go to the git info exclude directory or file here. Now uh, I like to be safe but I'm going to tell it site star. I'm going to tell it underscore site. Um, I think I just technically need this but I always like to just be safe. So, so then again, so now I can sit here, I can start editing these files, and then when I push it, it's going to go to my server here, it's going to come into this blog file directory, it's going to do a git pull, it's going to pull it, build it, and then copy it over to my web server. If my web server was running, uh, if I had it installed, it would do that. So, uh, I mean, even here on the Mac side, so I can even come here. Oh, forgot to do blog o file build. Sorry about that. There you go. So I can come in here, I can make changes, I can do all my editing, um, all that good stuff, and I can build it locally, check it before I push it. The only downfall I've seen to this is, uh, let's say you have some code that you're working on, it's not fully set and ready to go, if you push it because you want to move it to another machine, let's say you're just temporarily working here and you move it to this machine and you do that, it's going to make those changes live. So that's something that I want to play around with and see if there's um, anything, if anything, that could be done. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Um, give it a try. It's definitely a little bit of a learning curve, but to me, it seems to be worth it. So uh, if you do like this, please post or subscribe. Thank you.